Right guys, sometimes it happens that my patients are a bit naughty and eat a bit of Swiss chocolate and a bracket comes off as you can see here, which is really annoying for the patient. So if that is the case and the wire, is, uh, the bracket is still attached on the wire, what you can do is, you can literally just sandblast the bracket and the tooth surface then you have to apply etching can you aspirate right for me? Apply the etching, let it settle for 30 seconds. Right. Make sure that you prepare the Rela X already. Remove the etching agent. Make sure everything is dry and clean. Just put, just take the lip for me, Wendy, please. Can you move your head so a little bit to your left, if it's possible? That's it. Oh, sorry, right. I'm sorry. That's it. Apply the Relay X. Turn the bracket in the right position. Position the bracket and make sure it's cured. Wendy, cure it please. A bit more on the occlusal. Go more on the occlusal. More, 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 more. Go more on the surface. That's it. More, go look where you're going. On the six, 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 that's it. More. Make sure you crew it long enough. Again, from all different angles. When that happens, sometimes it's also the case that we have a pre-contact on the bracket. So we will have to double check now if there's a pre-contact or it has been because she's been naughty and eaten some chocolate. The bracket is back on, on position. So we use some occlusion paper again, like we did in the bonding. Buy together for me and open. Buy together and open. Buy together, open. And we can see that there's a pre-contact so we will have to reduce a bit the contact. How does that feel by together? Feels normal? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it.